blonde hair. Okay, it's not just toning blonde hair, it's actually darkening blonde hair as well. I know in my how to dye your roots video, I said I didn't use toner. And I was like, well, because my hair doesn't really need it. Well, I've come to the realization that it didn't really need it until I discovered that it needed it. What? Xander's so dumb. See, what happened was, I originally, when I dyed my hair blonde, I asked the lady to dye it a dark blonde color, like not so light. And, you know, I don't want like the platinum blonde, blonde hair. I wanted it to be like more natural looking. She said okay, but no, it was like the brightest thing since the sun. It was bright. But I was like, okay, fine, maybe it's not possible for me, so I just adjusted to it. But then you see other girls with like their hair and they dyed it that color. So I did a lot of research into it. I watched a jillion YouTube videos. I wanted to know how to get my dark blonde, to get my already bleached hair darker. And so then uh, I didn't really find anything on YouTube, but I discovered the Demi Permanent hair dye. I mean, hair toner. That I read I think online which demi permanent is pretty much permanent but not like it's it's more permanent than semi permanent hair toner but it also fades it just takes longer and demi permanent is good for darkening the blonde hair basically I discovered how to get my bright blonde hair to a more natural color. And you know what? Being blonde is actually pretty interesting because depending on the toner you use, you could always change your blonde hair to any type of blonde hair color you'd like. If you wanted it to be really bright, you could make it bright with the toner. Or if you want it to be dark like this, darker, you can. So that's great because sometimes you just want to be a more natural blonde. Like less of a blonde. So this video basically is just clearing that up for anybody who would like to know. In case they feel like their blonde hair is just too dang blonde. After you're done bleaching your hair and you wash out the bleach, you add the toner. And uh, I'll show you, I'll show putting it together and stuff in this next video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions as to how to tone your hair, it's it's pretty, ba it's pretty basic. You just um, put the stuff together and pour it all over your hair, and you let it sit as long as you want. It's like up to 20 minutes, but you can do it sooner than that, later than that. Well, not too much later, but yeah, you just let it sit in there for a while. I do about 20 minutes, and then I wash it out. Of course I do the roots first and then like I work my way down. I caution using Demi Permanent, like darkening your hair, this is a caution for it. Um, make sure you get it thoroughly throughout all of your hair because there will be streaks if you miss spots. Or there will be streaks that are like really dark from where you put it and you didn't spread it out properly. So make sure you really get it in there. And then some people like to focus on the roots and then do the bottom of their hair later. You don't want like your roots to be super dark and the rest of your hair 
not. So just you're just trying to make it even. So after you're done putting it in the roots, maybe like a minute or two, then work your way down. Put it throughout. Make sure you put it everywhere. Don't leave streaks. And that's all I really have to say about that. Good luck to you and your beautiful hair. Thanks so much for watching.